we'll see how this shakes out. One interesting thing about this too is that Troubleshooter has to be careful with the way that he throws the grenades, right? Yep. Because if he misspaces the grenades, he is absolutely going to get whiff punish and annihilated here by Vanguard's reach. I think the, the big trouble factor for Vanguard in this matchup is the frame traps that Troubleshooter is going to represent, especially around the timing of grenade toss game and going for just wreck. There's your first aerial grenade to a starter. Jeez, Jeez, that's a challenge, right? You can mm -hmm. jump up and challenge these grenades if you not rely solely on them. Yep. Yeah, play with the neutral. Nice. Get on fire here. A little bit far for a grenade setup here, but... Oh, jump straight over the 2A here. This is a good start for Kazunkai. Yeah, this is going to be big. Has plenty of resources to make it count. OTG pickup. And now we start the cycle all over again. No anti-air, nothing. We're really bait for this DP, and Angsty is not spending. Ooh! Good patience, finally lets the shotgun rip, and the tides are turned. Empty jump into the low, but misses the pickup of the 2C. Oh, good roll through, big punish here for Kazunkai, and this should be death. Absolutely. There we go, just going straight into all those slashes. First round for your winning time. Hey, gunshot? I love that. This is the best one. Oh, but there's nice. the DP finally coming out. And gonna take time for a quickie sippy as well. Got the pick up. I don't think we're gonna get the opportunity to utilize the buff here from Troubleshooter. OTG pick up. And now back to that corner position. Kansukai made. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, still okay. trying to fight their way out here. That was a beautiful uh, block string too, especially to maintain that full screen presence there, but going to get with punished here by Kai. Oh, but drop the combo. That could have been hefty here. Oh, and the DP through the frame trap. Going to let the shotgun blast as well, and again, leaning back into those grenades, and what a trade! Yep, that's a beautiful DP right there. If you want to challenge in the mid-screen, that DP will reach pretty far. Especially when your troubleshooter in awakening, right? Because it gives that DC more pushback on the bomb. Cool. Okay, good drink. Just enough to convert. We want some of that mana back, but wasn't able to survive. Oh, not able to confirm off that big counter hit here now. As it slowly inches way in. Talk about the grenade, but not gonna get the get on fire pickup and spend it all betting that they were gonna catch. The roll through from Kazukai. Now it's still Kazukai's turn. Pulled into DP range from Angsty. You see Kazukai trying to bait out the DP that time and getting caught by the 2A. This is the Helmbreaker pickup. Yeah, that's not going to work there. You weren't in awakening state, so not going to get that full extension. Whoa! Oh, but there is the punish that Kazukai needed, and this should be game number one. Yep, sure is. Kazukai going to take it there. And I, I appreciate that uh, that Helmbreaker, right? Just because you're expecting that pick up there, but it wasn't that hard knockdown to at least get that OTG state. And Angsty, if they were in awakened state, would have gotten the wall splat off and get on fire and definitely would have been able to pick it up. That would have been death had Angsty been in awakening state. Yeah, absolutely. But now Angsty's gonna have to, I wanna say lean off the grenades just a little bit here. Cause yeah. Kazukai is figuring out how to get around them and get in for free, right? Yeah, the, the big factor for these grenades in this matchup here is definitely doing it within a range where uh, Vanguard isn't going to be able to challenge. You're doing it on a full screen situation here, trying to control the neutral, but Vanguard doesn't have to approach you at a mid screen. The spear is going to catch you on the startup of grenade. It's going to be more trouble than it's worth. Here we go, train to game number two. Round start situation. Oh, it's Ooh. gonna be the 5B and a DP at round start. That's a hell of a way to begin. Absolutely. Got the drink on. Able to get a conversion if we want to, but no confirm. Sword bombs finds no mark. There's a get on fire. That would have been a big opportunity there for Angsty to close that gap and drop a bomb for just a safe approach. 5B, just to challenge the run forward, and now Kazuma is going to get a good start. Hard knockdown in the corner. Oh, is actually going to go for the tech here? Yeah, Ooh. there it is. Nice. Check. Yeah. Doesn't need to move. Why? Why bother? I know that I'm in a dangerous situation if I give up a space or if I lose my turn because you're right on the cusp of awakening here. 
Now you have to be even more careful if you're constant Kai. Gets the space that we're looking for, and the get off fire will get the OTG set up here. Oh. Just needs to spend for waking, but miss a 2B. That is so difficult to make that late. Yeah, that 2B also just has such a strange hitbox. It is so easy to drop the most common drop button to see among troubleshooter players. And now, Anki Dragoon up against the ropes here. Nearly about to be guard broken. Yikes, and there's no help. Oh, what? Just the tip. Just the tip, Zero. No! <laughs> oh, Kazumi took that personally here. I would too! Grenade to the face for trying to jump. That's your fault. Could have gone for Rekka Series there to extend for the damage, but didn't find it. There we go. Massive counter hit. OTG here. Finding the perfect opportunity there, spending the meter and taking the round. That's the that point. Whoa. Okay, nice. Anti air into get on fire here. That's a drink opportunity right there if I ever saw it, but the empty low. Yep, that's a good challenge. We take those. Easy punish here. Yes. Pretty good corner carry on this combo as well. Look at that. It goes for the safe jump. Whoa. Nice wolf. Fire. There you go. Take that drink opportunity there. No need to convert so early, though. Hold on to it. Look at this staggered pressure here coming up with Kazunkai, Ancy Dragoon, just so afraid to press. Ooh, that was your roll attempt right there. You could have rolled 2 a Tough to react, though. Now we're in Awakening State. That's troublesome for Kanzu Kai, but Kanzu Kai finds the mark and does seal the deal. That's a 2 0 lead over Angsty Dragon. And that's going to be it. Taking it and moving forward here mm -hmm. on the winner side of the pools. One of the hardest things about this matchup is that the guard break is pretty much guaranteed off the death hawk. You, yeah. Your guard cancel is so bad, it only hits right in front of you that if he's spaced just a few like, character lengths away, there's nothing you can do. There we go, right off the bat. Almost 90 backing up, trying to get for that slide, but there's a whiff punish by Kazunkai. Good pick up, carry to the corner. Great spot to be in. Goes for safe jump attempt and... Yeah, really worried about that DP. It was like waiting for it, and that's why we saw that max distance there. Nice DP back in the face for Complex here. Now full screen situation. Jesus. That DP coming through. Harassing there with a stagger pressure with the mock kick. And that should be the end of this round. Yep, does get it. Thanks to the grenade backup to finish it off. Straight into round number two here. I'm sure Complex is also going to just back up. Exactly. Create that space. You want to be just outside of the guy's range. Jeez. And yeah, Complex reverting to a very simple game plan. If you want to jump in, DP. If you want to try to find your perfect position, I have a DP to involve through whatever attack you're putting at me here. But good punish here from Kansu Kai. Gonna get the OG pick up. Have to maintain this momentum here. Cannot allow Complex to escape this corner. The DP, it's just such a good DP as well. Beautiful jump over the 5B, but it's able to get anything off of it. Oh, good follow up here after the fact. <laughs> Keep this going. Yeah, what supports the tech? Okay, it's gotta roll through. Full punish, let's go. Oh, and there it is. Okay, for a second, I thought that the combo was gonna end short, but Kazunkai able to snatch out the round. Yes, that was a little scary too, especially with the debuffs on deck. It's like, ah, wait a minute. <laughs> Do you survive this? Well, the question here is Kazunkai gonna be able to survive these upcoming pressure strings, and he does actually just jumps right out of the corner with a roll as well. Okay, got the mock kick there, rolls through the death hawk. Maybe avoids the grenade. Ooh. Trying to manipulate that jump arc there, but Complex was ready to spend upon landing here. Kazukai in a whole grip of trouble. Actually, I don't think you get to survive this. Oh, goes for reset. All right. Okay. Hey, grenade to back you up. Why not? 
Yeah, I know. It was the call out the throw option, right? Yeah. It was very solid. All right, so game one here. Gonna go to Complex 90. With the disrespectful ender. Hey, don't y'all be surprised. Complex out here at NRS player. You know it's nothing but disrespect on your opponent's wake up. Come on now. <laughs> You're not wrong. You are absolutely not wrong about that one. These MK players really do be disrespectful. You, you got to. Don't let them wake up. <laughs> you think just because you get get up attacks, now you get to, you know, uh-uh. Oh, uh no. <laughs> okay, good. Five MS there to start the round and keep things safe on top of the grenade. Good mix, too. Nice jump in. No confirm, though, unfortunately. He catches the back edge to try to maintain this pressure. Ooh. Gets the shoulder charge. Wait a minute. That's a grappler move. <laughs> oh, my God. The toe tap. Nice stagger to carry into the corner. Oh, no. Big God, he's gonna be able to set up another grenade here for some more set play. Jeez! Please block Kazukai! Not quite over yet, gets one more chance to get. No! Oh, the roll through the grenade! Oh my God, Kazukai, your brain is so huge. <laughs> but at what cost? How many times do we get counter hit trying to press something in the corner situation against a Ranger? Still in this though, but one more bullet. <laughs> you know, Kazoo guy able to take it there. All right, we're all right, all right. Okay, Right, here we go, Kazunkai keeps the pressure up, and there's the guard cancel coming up from Complex 90. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big swing and nice confirm here for Kazukai getting that OTG. A little bit high right there, but still able to get the full conversion combo. Pushing Complex into Awakening, though. That's dangerous. Yeah. All right, full screen situation here. It's all up to Kazukai to close it. Rolls through GP. Oh my yes. god. Holy hell, Kazukai. Gonna be able to close this out here, tying it up. One, one with a beautiful roll, zero. Oh my god. See, this is what happens. When you pick a low tier character, you are forced to utilize the entirety like of your brain, of the mechanics of the game on top of it. You've been at your lowest of lows and you're trying to fight the best of the best. There should be nobody out there that understands the tools of the game better than a low tier player. Right now getting sent straight into the corner. Complex 90 trying to close this out here. Full spin, you had to DP. Oh, this is- Oh no, too early for the punish, yeah. That's so unfortunate. There's the roll through and the punish from Complex trying to work on a perfect here. That is unfortunate right there for Kazukai. The scramble situation in the corner cost him a big punish opportunity and potentially could have set the tie for the rest of the round here. So Complex on match point. That DP just whipped. That is mm -hmm. so tragic. But now Complex putting Kazunkai back up against the ropes here. Oh my gosh. Dance. Grenade set up again. Block. Oh my god. We've got to block. The timing just isn't there right now. Again with the set play. Kazunkai can just not figure out how to escape from this corner. Guard cancel to be aggressive. Oh! The mashing works this time. But Kazunkai can be able to bring it back. We got to at this point. You have all the meter. Oh no, goes for the reset. No throw. Yikes. Yeah, there was layers of mind games right there. Oh, oh my god, but that's not gonna be able to lead to a pickup here. The oh, air to air no. Speaking of Hitman, I, I heard that Splinter Cell is free. Did you hear about that? Splinter Cell? Huh? The first one. The first? It's free somewhere. What? Okay. Okay, okay. I'll have to discover where that's at.
but here we go. Zuber up against Frosty. Starting off immediately with the dive kick going into the Frenzy State. Okay, good blocks on the conversion here, and guard cancel. We'll find its mark for Frosty. Oh, we jump it high! Gonna get the OTG as well with the 4S. Nice. Stay here. A little conservative on health right now so far. Uh, Hubert only having one significant interaction to start. But this is a big deal. Blood wall, we have to take our time. And I mean, Hubert is now in awakening, so any hit that he lands he is going to be giving his health back. Oh no, that was unfortunate. Must have missed the conversion, but still gets to pick up anyway. Good follow up here. It spends for the damage. We bring it back. More health for you. Watch out for these upcoming mix ups. There's the guard cancel coming out, and the DP is going to land. Has to be so careful. Expected DP coming from Frosty. Has to respect the can cold with the extra hit. Oh, nice spacing here from Hewitt, but the low will find the mark if Frosty takes that first round. Yeah, I mean, speaking of spacing, that 2B perfectly spaced the catch Hewitt running in. Oh, she's the challenge, 5A. Over here in the corner, trying to go for the overhead. Oh, Jack, up, what a starter. The slump state able to push to the corner here. One OTG will do. Let's get the reset. Roll four, no call Dang. out. Frosty gets caught trying to press. A little bit scrambly here from Hubert, dropping some unusual stuff. The trade and still coming out on top for Hubert though. Maybe scrambly, but it's about who is going to come out on top in the scramble here. And it does look like Hubert will be coming out on top. Awakens for the kill here. That low into the instant overhead though. Because it's not Hubert, Hubert will mix you like crazy in this game using Berserker. It's crazy. I mean, this character does have the song. Jeez, that pressure. Nice low challenge. Yeah, character has the sauce, but Hitman's got the reach and neutral. Oh, yeah, no anti air. A little bit. Focus on trying to fish for a low right there. All right, the Cortex coming in, gets the wall bound. Time to start running this mix-up game. Going cross, straight to the low. Love the stagger series here. Puts up the blood wall just in case it remains safe. Good guard cancel. Ooh, whoa! Oh At least God. they weren't able to keep flies on it, and that will spell death here for Frosty. Good round and game for Hubert. Also, check out Hubert's deity level. Nice. nice. Yeah, because they don't play on, on ranked anymore. No, you hit that and you won, right? You yeah, exactly. Right they just stopped playing. <laughs> All right, Hubert gonna go up 1-0 here against Frosty. Challenger, round one. Back dash sets up a frenzy already. Wants that conversion. There it is. Nice throw set up. Whoa, whoa. Just gets the frame trap. Rocky just decided to stop blocking mm -hmm. here and is going to pay for it. Yeah, I think they tried to steal that turn out, and unfortunately, whatever you tried to do didn't come through. Double high for you here, and we should be wrapping this up with all the resources we have here awoken. Yeah, there you go. Alright, just the pressure up here with conversion straight to the frenzy state. Two swords. Oh my god, look at that guard. That guard yeah, bar it is devastating. Right. And at least got the pick up here as well, but that guard bar is going to be a problem here for quite some time. Yeah, and that's if Frosty gets a turn. He's just getting clipped by these buttons while trying to press out because he does not want to get guard broken right there. Finally yeah. gets the guard canceled. Start putting the pressure on. Oh, Hubert answers right back. 
Okay, got the space that we're looking for here, but great aggression from Frosty. It's a do or die situation, so Frosty had to press forward and unfortunately gonna get caught by the dive kick from Hubert. All right, we'll see how this works out. Grappler has been a scary character. Certainly doesn't have the toolkit that uh, pushes Grappler into the upper echelon of like one of the more horrifying characters, but definitely a knowledge check character for sure. Uh, can be tough to deal with, especially when you consider all the armored normals that uh, uh, Grappler can toss out. Oh yeah, this is a top eight qualifier match as well. So we might potentially see a Grappler in top eight of land and is able to take care over Isisera, starting off strong here with a nice pickup. Okay, nice nice throw. Throw. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. That is Grappler. That is Grappler. And it's Grappler up against a very squishy character in the form of Swiftmaster. Absolutely. Bridging Storm, they're going to get caught. Pressure in the corner. Classic Swiftmaster combo here with the orb. Oh, the parry! Whoa! Okay. No. Oh my god! Excuse me. <laughs> Beautiful overhead with the conversion support from Landon. Or Layden, excuse me. Fakes out the grab this time. Whoa. That was the most riskiest of rolls because we preemptively rolled just a slightly, uh, like a few frames earlier than the landing of Layden's last move that could have been crushed and the Sarah could have been punished and dead but beautiful timing holding this corner here one more touch will do ain't no way ain't no way no he's a Sarah why I love this game dude no freaking way! He just hit the awakening and, and Jesus, take the wheel. Just held it. Held it there, too. <laughs> Sarah was right to jump, but landed too late. <laughs> oh, and the parry is going to beat out the S. The 5S. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, we got the DP out of there. Let's get a scoop. The Sarah needs to hold out in this corner. Got the orb, okay, good the low. Low. That's what we need. We need more of these lows coming out, right? To pull up any of the armored options that Layden has. Exactly. Take a few cycles. There's no the throw set up. Able to retreat. Yo. No. 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 Illegal maneuver! Yo, red flag, red flag. <laughs> Somebody help! Call the cops! Now! All right, here we we go, got the a serial grabber on the loose! Oh no! Gets the charge jump in as well! Sarah's back is up against the wall! No. No, you stood up! OTG! No, you're dead! <laughs> dead. <laughs> And that's 2-0 Layden against the Isisera. Unreal. Unreal. Why every week, Jobber? Why? <laughs> and this, this game, this game's giving me high blood pressure. It's crazy. And this matchup might as well. Hubert starting off strong against Gone Mask. Okay, beautiful conversion here. This is a strong start to lock down in the corner against Gone Mask to not get Ghost set up at all. The low, you forgot the low block? Looking low like we playing Suki last night. Goodness. <laughs> but a great challenge there from Gone Mad. Not gonna be able to close it out here, but is going to get one more mix up opportunity. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yo. The hot. Oh, the scoop! We're starting off with a throw right off the bat there. Now it's gonna make Hubert second guess every decision in the corner. That was slick because you're expecting either the high low mix, and we put a bet at all on it. A Gone mad with the throw. Just wants to seal the deal and guarantee a kill. Nice anti-air. My god. Oh, but the 2A reaching so far here. Gone mad. Gonna run Hubert all the way to the corner with the ghost carry. 
Set up opportunity. Ox to summon no ghost. Ooh. That's a shame. We're going to push back. Also goes time for more mana build up here as well. Not going to be able to close it out just quite yet. And using the stagger press here, just trying to catch Hubert pressing. Oh, that could have been a huge win. Yeah. Point. Yeah, you see that meter? 200? Okay. Got the frenzy state up. Needs to find a hit. On Mad Demon to find one teleport. Tried Ooh. to go for the ghost summon there, but got caught, and you're dead. That is such a shame. Nope, nope, not dead. We overspent on the mana here. Oh my god, the cross up. We try to get out of dodge, and Hubert with the beautiful defense spends on Awakening for the round. A long round, too. One of the longer Berserker rounds that we've gotten to see here, but gonna go up one. <laughs> Here we go. He's gonna go into Frenzy immediately off the bat. Beautiful roll from Gaumad and gets the pun in it. Okay, nice. Calls out the throw with the Hell Splitter from the Ghost. The jump in. Isn't gonna summon Ghost this time. Just gets the 2B, but runs straight into a throw from Hubert. Yeah, and this could be troublesome here. Oh, goes from Frenzy trying to teleport Punish here. Yeah, we need to step a little bit longer. Big jump in from Hubert. This is oh, huge. Yeah, plenty of resources. You are actually dead. Yeah, it goes for the core tech. Straight into the Awakening. Plenty of damage. Yeah, and just hit that death threshold as well. So it should be a round and game for, or just a round rather, for Hubert. No, it's a game. It's a game. My bad. Game one here. This is taking forever. Holy cow. Berserker's living, living. This is what we said at the top though, right? Like everyone's getting better at defense and understanding mechanics of the game and how to prolong their life and not just get blown up for a single touch. And that's the challenge when it is like when you're going up against Berserker, you can really not afford to make those mistakes, especially against Hubert, because Hubert's confirms are out of this world. Yes, absolutely. There we go, just goes for the jump in. Oh, great block on the conversion. Yes. Ooh, the air to air does the job and tries to get a pick of the ghost and succeeds. This is a sick pickup right now from Gone Mad. But dropped it! That's really unfortunate there. Tries to go for the empty jump low on the other side. Gone Mad with great defense and a beautiful 2A to even close this out in the most Yo. disrespectful way possible. That was smart. That was smart though. The conversion. I don't want to make any mistakes. Convert. Awake. Well done. You want him to watch that super. He said, think about what you did. Mm -hmm. You took a game from me. I won't let it happen again. I not to let it happen again here, starting off with a nice, huge confirm. Put Hubert into the corner, take 50% of that health. Here to jump in. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got one ghost, but I think we're going to stay this max range here because we don't have anything to follow up. Really wanted to go for that guard break, but Hubert taking action now in Awakening State, and this is a devastating situation to be in. Gone Mad is going to lose a lot of health here. Okay. Oh, the reset. Convert. Gone Mad's going to lose the round here as well. Hubert going to go straight into the super. I like that. I like the conversion into another little health break there just to make sure that the curse doesn't happen again. Yes, absolutely. We've seen it too many times in Hubert where they survive without <laughs> magic pixels. Like, you know what? I'm not taking that shit. Okay. Jeez, what a challenge at round start here. With punish all day for Hubert. There's our stagger here. Let's continue. Pressure. Damage, trying to juggle as far as we can to get that mana back to the mix-up. Oh, great DP there from Hubert. The convert, a little bit too high there to make it a you know, real scary situation, but I think we're going for that guard break. No confirm after, unfortunately, though. Oh, the bomb man is going to land the confirm here. Going to tie things up. 1-1, one, one, no! Didn't extend the combo. Yeah, oh, oh. Just outside of the DP range there. 
Oh man, I, I need you to, I need you to pick up the pieces because I can't have a repeat of last week where he keep dropping up these corner situations. I can't do it. I can't take it. I already had a heart attack from Grappler. I'm halfway through a Red Bull. My blood pressure is skyrocketing. I'm trying to live throughout the rest of the night. Please. It's great challenge to start. Frenzy State going to get blown up. Gone mad takes a big lead. Clean. Yeah, about 20% coming through there. Thank you, Lear, with that J. Hey, hey, that's one thing that Gomad is really, really good at. He's chasing the opponent up into the air to challenge. And what an anti air! Right in the low mix up. Gone mad. Now sitting at set point. Charged up again. Big jump in. Oh my god. Reset converts into another frenzy loop. She's good blocks here from Gomad. There's your opportunity. Trying to that vortex. Yeah, really great patience here. Oh, no! Great patience into explosive offense from Gone yeah. Mad. Yeah. I mean, that's sneaky low right there. It was absolutely insane. 2 1 victory to put Gone Mad in the top eight. I, I could have sworn that was a short hop, but that was crazy. <laughs> Other Rangers as well. Uh, Cal was in it. Actually got smoked by Layden earlier. That's crazy. Kamatani already trying to create a little bit of space here against Anton. And kick up. Oh, we're going to go for the extended combo here as well. Get that grenade set up. And Anton tried to go for the backdash conversion tag, but Complex was ready for some lock kick. Right, locked out in the corner. Oh, that is it. No, doesn't commit! Cross up there for Complex 90 is holding on to the guard button. Here's a pickup. Anton can take this, just needs to keep the pressure up. Yeah, especially too, had to convert there, so plenty of resources available. The wheel of neutral is turning. You don't lost the opportunity to spend skills out here. OTG. There's the throw. It's anyone's game right now. The wheel oh, of God! No, you can't guard cancel it! Trying to guard cancel the wheel. That is a lot of faith there from Complex 90. And jumped into the 5MS and good conversion pickup right there. Oh, catch oh, the 2A. Oh, a little bit early on the drop. Wanted to get an extension with the grenade. It's all right, though. Still maintaining this pressure. Getting a lot of damage here as well into yet another grenade. I love that DT and then immediately escape, but jump straight into the 5MS. Jump in, son. Look, significant life lead here, but oh, Anton's been here before. Was able to turn it around earlier. Look at that guard bar. Oh, oh here's the hit. Oh, my God. Let's reset and to spin the wheel. wheel round and round, the wheel of neutral goes. Oh, that's a guard break. No, not quite. Job, oh my God. They open themselves up there, but I think you're dead anyways because Awakening this thing burn at the stake Anton with back-to-back -back comebacks in the first game Unreal here Anton thriving with that magic pixel <laughs> That's insane. This game is insane. I love this game <laughs> 1 0 here against comics. You're seeing how well these players are adapting now to Ranger. That has definitely been the story of it tonight, considering Complex is the only one left in Winterstock. Yeah. <laughs> Jump in here. Good defense from Complex. Not overextending. Once again, the wheel is up. Complex 90 finally showcasing that DP. The roll and tech. Okay. Throw immediately tries to go for the low. There's the wheel. Nice roll through into the back throw. That was really good, too. And it erases the wheel from uh, the field of play. Unfortunately, 
Anton was a little too slow to get the punish there on that up kick. He does have this corner positioning. Another great DP coming out. Yep, has to hold back here and wants that meter to build back up for Complex. Anton closes that gap, it's, and we've been here before, and Complex knows it because one touch could mean the end of the game. And this is the touch, right? Yeah, no, there's no way. Hold on. It's no, 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 reset here. Well, we're going to whittle it away. Now we're down to the final confirm. Oh, oh, oh. Complex, Complex just got... Too jumpy there, a little too jumpy on missing the DP. Anton staying so cool under the heat. Oh yeah, saw the wet throw. No, it's still not my turn quite yet. Not my turn. DP, now it's my turn. Here we go, Complex finally getting some started again. But that's kind of been the story of this entire set. Complex starts off incredibly strong, puts Anton down into Awakening. Anton just goes, all right, I'm ready to play now. Okay, grenade set up once again. Immediately spends for a DP attempt, and once again, gonna get punished for it. Anton in a lot of trouble. Oh yeah, we're trying to seal the deal right now, but not enough meter to close it. Oh my Will God. Will catch the back dash here, goes from side swap, expecting a DP, but Complex remains ever stoic. That's a round. Complex still has an uphill battle to climb here, though. Anton still sitting at set point. Oh my god. Dash up. Anti air. Wheel. Gonna add as much damage as possibly can. Get the damage over time there. Yep, good guard cancel. Oh, what a DP. No frame traps for you. Fakes out the mix up. That was a great conversion, though, to jump out of the way of the fire. That would have been it for Complex. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, but the grenade! No! Did we we did we did what a scramble! Anton playing around the DP so well and taking it 2-0 over Complex 90, moving on to top 8 winner's side. Yeah, Tenure Mule has been in this top 8 position before as well. Uh, but, you know, Blue Linky is consistently being on that winner's side, right? So it's going to be interesting to see if Tenure Mule will kind of usurp the throne of the top eight consistency of winner's side against Blue Linky. Tenure Mule already showing good spacing, though, sitting just outside of that charge buster range. Yep. Great knowledge and a beautiful 6S to start. No, and caught overextending there. That's unfortunate. She's gonna get nice corner carry here with the wall bounces. Wow, and that did like almost nothing. <laughs> That's like an okay hit of it. Wow, yeah. I could take that. Yeah, Tender Mule not, not sweating at all here, right? Yeah. Still has a substantial okay. life lead. Great roll through on the charge. Yeah, that was really good. Scary. Okay, can hold his Vortex. Gotta worry about that guard gauge slowly but surely. Finding a stray hit and beautiful conversion here from Tender Mule. Charge Buster's coming through. We can go for the knockdown here. No, we go for the tech of the Raging Storm. There's a the guard cancel out, immediately trying to establish some pressure here. Okay, converts, try to stay safe here. 10 seconds left on the clock and 10 year mules round to win! Oh, but the run up throw, still not over. Not enough. DP for DP, and that does no. it! Blue Mickey's comes out of nowhere! Wait, wait. Oh, oh my god! No, 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 Impossible. <laughs> what is this game? This game rules. Oh, <laughs> All 
All right, there's the DP out. Tenure Mule starting off with a massive life lead here. My back is up against the wall. Doesn't have a lot of guard gauge left. Good roll. Every was a draw. Why is this a draw? Okay. Hold this corner position here. Guard gauge look a little risky right now. No roll punish from Blue Linkies. Uh oh, but this is a great starter now for Blue Linkies. He's gonna do over ten, half of ten years of health here. So right now, oh, yeah, there's the half. Now then here comes the over. <laughs> oh no! Jeez <laughs> oh, Louise, what a challenge Ted Mule takes. <laughs> what after a draw? What? <laughs> this 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 bracket is insane. This bracket's crazy. What this happened? Isn't even top eight yet. You know you know what the blood moon hit and y'all act different. That's <laughs> still are not in top eight either. This is just a top eight qualifying match. Vortex cycle begins. Blue Linkies with the first significant combo to start. Ooh, uh, wait, tenure. It's, uh, that's okay. Tekken All Air right. Moves. That's actually really interesting. I mean, that move does have a massive hitbox, right? Yeah. You know, it, it's interesting, especially too, like, Blue Linkies could have really punished that situation here, but I guess, like, the expectation is okay, the turn is over, so therefore, Blue Linkies is going to press. And I guess if you're playing mind games, that's tenure's opportunity to take advantage of. Oh, but hmm. what a what a trade there! Unfortunately, Blue Linky was not able to pick up the combo. Gonna pull out the summon swords. One touch, both players. That's all it's gonna take. Right. Good challenge, though. It doesn't allow Blue Linkies to press through that raging storm, so that was a great call. And a tender mule now is sitting in awakening, and there it is. Little GG, shake my hand. I love this game. I love this game! And Tenured Mule is threatening to send Blue Linkies to losers here now. Before we even reach top eight. Just so many upsets tonight. Okay. As you said, match point here for Tenured Mule. Oh, this is my combo as well. The backboard. I love Tenured Mule's just very cautious approach here, right? Yeah. A lot of micro dashing into blocks just to see what Blue Linkies is going to do. The threat of 5B is so huge. Wow. And just the aerial dominance here from Tenured Mule to get the high openers. Not going to get a final confirm. Opportunity for Blue Linkies to strike back. That was a big blunder right there from Tenured Mule because that should have been a wrap or at least a hard knockdown setup for Tenured. This could be the round here. Yep, absolutely. Kind of you just have to finish with the super. Perfectly fine. Let's see if we see things, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. No, you ain't no, no. Way. Okay, yeah, it's not, it's not invincible. Chill, tenured mule. It's not invincible. But what if? What if we struck first? That would have been crazy. I would have screamed. I would have yiked. <laughs> oh, there's a great whiff punish, though. Two A pickup. Nice anti air. Got our can Cole here. Nice, gonna push deep into the kill zone. Yeah, Tender Mule just needs one more confirm here to move on the top eight winner side, but there's a DP from Blue Linkies. Yeah, and the way that Tenure's playing right now, they're in control. Massive life lead, and look, we can make a couple mistakes here, but no more than that. You just have to score one good hit, and there, there it is. Tenure Mule defeats Blue Linkies 2-0 to move on the top eight winner side. I, I feel like this was a, a, a fighting game historic moment I can't think of any fighting game where I've ever seen a draw timeout. It's so unfortunate that these two have to go against each other right away in this top eight. I would have hoped that one was on the top side, one was on the bottom, but this is how the dominoes fell in this bracket tonight here. So Layden up against Anton. The two unique stars of this bracket here. That's crazy. We got a grappler. Oh, 
Oh, Grappler. This is actually, uh, I feel like this is a little bit better here for Anton, right? Being able to actually stay at a far enough range here. Has a lot of really good Ooh. low options. You're seeing that Anton is trying to stay at the maximum possible range, right? To not get close to this character. Absolutely. That was a beautiful anti-air. So, uh, hello? I don't know if that was intentional, but it worked. And I run with it. And unfortunately, Layden's going to come out on top of that scramble. Okay. Nice. The DP gets caught to the other side. Yep, there it is. The block. Still a turn back on a convert here to keep the pressure going. Not affected by the debuff quite yet. Hasn't been able to find the mark. And yo, we're at max range. Like you said, that's a brilliant spot to be. Yo, the 2 beat didn't reach. Footsies. Just outside of it. Look at, look at this. Anton is running forward and going for the command dash through to try and force Lance on the middle of button. There's the pickup. He's going to be able to just go right into Awakening yep. here. Absolutely. Good round here for Anton. And great patience, too. That's a big call out, right? Just uh, not overextending despite having a strong lead, not getting overzealous. You have to be so careful against a character like Grapple. Absolutely. Here we're going straight into the next round. You see, Lana's trying to call out those dashboards, right, with those, those charge kicks in the air, but Anton is just being so incredibly patient, picking their opportunity so well. Whoa, oh, nice anti-air. <laughs> Caught right out of the sky. But a wake up 2A from Layden. Whoa! What a fall up there. Absolutely. Nice. For you, and Anton's going to be able to close this out here with the super. There it is. Put yep. him on the stake. Well done. What? No, no, no. We have to ask you to leave the order. Well done, Jobber. I mean, look at that fire. He's well done. It Okay. I don't like them well done, all right? All right, so Inquisitor is a well done eater then. Uh, we got to get rid of Inquisitor right now. <laughs> Kindly but firmly ask Inquisitor to leave. <laughs> that boy ain't right. No, dang, dang old grappler, man. Dang old Inquisitor grappler. Inquisitor. I'll tell you what. <laughs> okay. Throw. Yeah, I'm going to post that timeout on Twitter eventually. Done. Oh, here's the throw. Whoa! Big catch kick, OTG. Oh, you're dead. You're actually no. dead. No way. Oh, no. no. Not quite enough. Really unfortunate there. It's because of me. I didn't believe. Yeah, unbelievable. Hey. Oh, but... There you go. Charge straight through the wheel. That shoulder check is projectile invincible, and that wheel may be huge, but it is just a projectile. Yo, this character needs to be stopped! Uh-oh, half your health, gone, oopsies. Remember when that was an infinite? <laughs> but Anton fighting back here, able to land the Helmbreaker, gonna get a nice combo into the corner. Fire effect on Layden. Locked down now. Yes. All right, good patience here from Layden. Oh no, yep. Let's be careful, let's convert. Oh, but Orin through the DP and takes this game. 1-1. One, one. They need to give me a Neo Grappler scan right now. Just... Uh, don't forget, chat. Don't forget. This is top eight, meaning it is three out of five all the way through, okay? Mm -hmm. So there's still going to be more between these two. Oh! Shoulder Shack gonna get caught by the flame carpet here and Anton making that first significant strike. Running really into 2S. Whoa! Opened up a little bit too early right there. Anton in a very precarious predicament right now. Keeping this pressure up. Goes for a flip and immediately into the ground. Oh my god, on that combo. Still yeah, it's still got the side swap. Oh my god. I love this game so much. This game is sick. I can't get it up. Tries to go for a grab. Good avoid from Anton. 
Yikes. Oh no, unfortunately, Command Dash is right back into the Magma Salt. No confirm after, but my god. There we go. Got our throw pickup. Should still be alive. Yeah, it goes for the reset there, too. Which kills him. Just wanted the pressure, and there it is. That's judo. Now up 2 1 against Anton, and Layden just keeps getting better as this set goes on. I, if I get close, it's gonna hurt. This character is just all about the hurt. In that first game, oh my god. Really good job of spacing, but Layden is now starting to incorporate some of these armored moves. Yeah, we got the reset as well, too, with the 5A. Ooh. Deal and deal. Yep. Curse is here. Hold on to the pressure. Flame carpet still going. Oh, I love the command dash four there into the throw. Ooh. Gets the 2B. Nice pickup. Yep, that was a really great call out, too, because it looked like Layden, Layden tried to uh, throw an armor move there as well. Ooh. Dash through again, just trying to force Layden to throw out something. Dash wow. straight into the fire, unfortunate for Layden, but that is good news for Anton going up around. Absolutely, and here's the scary uh, factor in the set now. Layden potentially mentally checked out of the set entirely. Like, I already won. What, what more do I need to do? Turn that back on now to get that fighting instinct here. Nice. Flame carpet and still able to get another throw. Anton, play that running gun game I, and i appreciate it right it makes it all the more annoying for grappler here big dp anti -air. what a call out Good safe job oh again yep scoop right out of the skies here anton working on a perfect there's the 2b and now we're going to a game five one We got in us. I can't believe it. We're all tied up. Inquisitor Grappler? I'm looking at Anton playing so cautiously. Oh, yeah. will get the 2B once again. I love that Anton is now just approaching blood. That is what you need to do until Layden shows him something different. Exactly. Been crushed a couple times here. The conversion is still going to get caught. Good block, not able to react fast enough to the check, and converts again. Ooh. Oh, it's so... Uh, I thought we were going to get a sick pickup after that one there, but unfortunately, Anton just got a throw, which is A-OK. -okay. Maintaining our life lead. A defensive cross-up. What a call out. Harry situation here. Wheeled up. There we go. Got the high. Oh, beautiful DP once again. Anton is so on point, calling out these charge jump into DP. Gets the low as well. Full screen situation and making it ever the more difficult for Layden to close the gap, but we do find the mark with the tip of the toes. Layden got the dunk for the ran, uh, wrap up here. Oh my God, are we going to a final game, final round? Yes, we are, no! Yes? Oh God, I spoke too soon. Oh, oh yes we are! That's a scoop. You got Vortex into it. There was a full stop of Grappler, at least a character length away. We're like, actually, you're in there. Oh, throwing out the 5A there. Oh, oh my god, your health bar is evaporating right now. This is unreal. That was a one combo with eight hits. Oh, but here we go. Anton able to get the low, swapping sides once again to put themselves into the corner. Uses the command dash to escape, gets the low. Nice. All right, and has plenty of mana here, so let's actually pile on some damage to catch up. Set up the wheel. Good defense, but the convert wasn't ready for it. Layden takes it. 3-2 over Anton.
All right, so we're straight into it. Round star situation is going to be pretty interesting. Yep, yep, we're caught up. Can Cole keep the lock? Okay, trying to go for the instant overheads there, but Tenure Mule answering with the DP. Look at this pressure coming up yeah, from Tenure absolutely. Mule. And all aerial approaches too, uh, for the most part, right? Like, it's getting your multi-hitting normals, just forcing extended blocks, uh, switch to, you're kind of getting like fuzzy situations out of it as well on your approach. Great decisions for Tenure. Oh, able to land the overhead, and that's gonna be the round. Jeez, yeah, just has to hold on to the ghost pressure there and a beautiful DP. Tenure gonna find a confirm and a conversion there to build back up to mana. Below this time here. Chasing down with the 6S. Dagger pressure from Gone Man, just trying to catch Tenure Mule. Press him when he shouldn't be, but there's the trade with the DP. Tenure Mule not missing a beat. Okay, not. Whoa, that's a big counter hit opportunity. We'll get the death. First game going to Tenure. Already looking pretty solid here in this matchup. Tenure Mule just has a really unique. Uh, really unique offensive structure, right? Right. I'm seeing, a, like like you said, a lot of those air approaches also utilize the conversion in a lot of different ways. And just as soon as you say it, right, Tenure got punished for trying to jump in. And honestly, Tenure's uh, really reactive to a lot of the startup from Gone Mad. He's able to challenge the 6S. That's a big thing. Uh, whip punishes are huge as well. There's a jump in again. Jump in one more time to get the multiple hits. There's Keep you standing up. Mm -hmm. Able to roll through, but still forced to block. Really great anti air there with the 5B again. This is the ice slam. Yeah, I think uh, Gone Mad is starting to catch on to the aerial approach from Tenure, right? Because now we're just going for stand blocks. We're not getting caught by the mix. But the problem with it is that Tenure still gets to make those solid approaches and. Uh, it gains ground. Gets close enough to go on mad to continue applying pressure for uh, relatively safe options. Here we go, sending out the ghost. Can you feel me? Wow! He's first at on the 6S with the open. Nice, at max range, shoot, there's that whip punish. And goes for double high. There's your guard cancel, get away from me here. Oh, it still was able to find the hit! Had the corrector posture for just a moment, and Tenure Mule takes it. 2-0. Just needs one more to get a clean 3-0 sweep and move on to winner's finals. Challenger, round one. Go. Coming straight to another round for situation. Oh no! Gone Mad just running into the hitbox there. That's huge. That is absolutely huge from Hitman though. Like, it's one of those things that like you, you wouldn't see it. It's so fast. It didn't even look like Gone Mad had approached into it there, but the very tip of the burst from uh, you know the SMG caught it. A nice pickup from Gone Mad though, unshaken by the situation. <laughs> That just knocked him behind him. Okay. You know what? We take those, right? Tenure Mule happy with this situation. Has gone yeah. mad. Locked down in the corner. Gets the guard break, but isn't able to sperm off of it. And that's twice that one caught from behind, too. And the last time Tenure won it because of that situation, was able to check the situation. And now, gone mad, turning around with a big victory. And this is the price you pay for not confirming off guard breaks. But there's not much that gone mad could have done. Considering we didn't have mana at the time to confirm. Very true here, but Gomad is going to be able to get a round up on the board. Mm -hmm. That was a deep cross up there from Gomad. Straight to the corner, 
carry. Has mana left also to go for another mix up with the ghost. Oh, opts to go for it late there and gets the overhead. Good stuff here and a nice pickup to get OTG with Ghost. Probably was expecting just a Oki situation rather than OTG. Oh, finally getting caught high. And to get the dash up jump, uh, the instant overhead situation, right? Because you're already blocking low. No stand up there from Gone Mad. Just really focused on surviving. What? Oh no, committed to the jump, so wasn't able to get the full confirm. That is tragic. Heartbreak does find the mark though here, but still. Okay, I was worried because I thought the break was on the way here, but Gone Mad finding an answer back to get that interrupt. Oh, Jeez. EP right at round start calling the jump in. Mm -hmm. Instant overhead. You can only block for so long against this character. Absolutely. Nice guard cancel here. Still gonna hold this. Guard button is a savior in situations like that. And Teddy Mule gonna take advantage of the confirm off the instant overhead. And Nintendo Mule is just committing to these overheads, right? And Gone Mad, he is going to block low at least one at a time. Yeah, I mean, and it's just so ingrained into Tenured Mule's game plan at this point. The corner. A lot of man to work with. Just one more mix up is all Gone Mad's going to get here. Quick decide this. EP coming through. Tenured Mule now sitting at set point. Ain't no way you put your hand into it and still the jump in. Tenure Mule gonna greet a great conversion into this one. Starting off unbelievably strong. Good lord. Off of a whiff punish. Like just a whiff punish. Oh jeez, yeah, had the roll through, got punished for it there. Gone Mad able to take advantage of it with the Oki set up with Ghost Blade. Stand on the same side instead of crossing up. And the backswing of Ghost actually was able to get the pickup for Gone Mad. Still able to stay alive and stay in this here. Threatening to tie it up 2 2. Round start just fishing with the 5A. Great DT timing, but gonna get clapped by the 5A. Nice to be in the pickup. Oh, but dropped once again here. That's a very big blunder right there. The opportunity here has to convert. Double highs for you. Good block, but the low finding it. Has to get a follow up here. Nice. Yeah, needs one more mix for this one here because we're not going to hold. Oh, oh no, too soon. yeah, never mind. Wow. We forget how much damage the Saturn Strike actually yeah. acts on. That was huge. And that'll do. 3 1 victory for 10 year mule. But here we go. We're going to jump straight into it, of course. This is another pretty decent matchup, uh, damage wise, at least for Berserker, right? Berserker does not have to hit Swiftmaster that many times to close this out. But it's getting those hits. That's the hard part. Yeah. Oh, that's a great start, though. Hey, if you're going to bring me closer to you, then fine. I'm going to go for my first hit. Defense survives here for Blue Linkies. Sides as well. Going to lock down Keeper here in the corner. Sends out the orb. Blue Linkies likes to go for the reset here instead of the hard knockdown. But goes for the hard knockdown this time. Mm -hmm. Put on that scratch damage. Oh, the fire oh. so quick. Yeah. Yep, spent away on the scratches. Should be wrapping this up with one more hit and does. Good round for Blue Linkies there. Yeah, dominating performance just has to keep that up. That's the goal. Don't let you replay, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, but there's the Gortex. You have to be careful about that. It's the great equalizer here. Okay, good block. Yep, and has to convert to make the approach oh, and apply Frenzy on top of it as well. You're actually going to die here. 
Keeper can push himself into Awakening. It's over. Yeah. Oh, we got one convert. There's the other convert. And yes, that'll do here. I tell you, Hubert has absolutely mental routing. Optimal routing always here. <laughs> to secure that round. Yeah, it, it's really crazy to see just how like off script Hubert can really play into Berserker combos. It, it's off of literally any stray. Like, okay, cool. From here, I just route into you know whatever frenzy state I need to, and it helps because Hubert really plays around with conversion quite a lot to reset the situation and assess what that next step needs to be. And Hubert trying to take us to the next game here with this combo. Not gonna be able to close it out. But one more mix. Bro, Hubert gonna go up 1 0. Wow. And immediately hits the rematch. Of course. You're, you're going berserker mode. You can't stop. Much like, mu much like Rage, you know, you just keep going. Uh, roll out, same thing. You keep going until you have no HP left. He's starting off with a nice stylish combo here, taking half of Hubert's life. Out. There's the orb preventing Hubert from advancing forward. Plenty of scratch damage for that DP. Does find the mark. Frenzy State got to convert, but unfortunately going to get punished. Whoa. Whoa. That was a clutch conversion there from Blue Link. If that jump in was able to land, it was going to be the end of him. Oh, uh, yeah. Rolling forward with the Gucci belt. Tough timing on that because Swift Master comes at you so quickly. Frenzied up. Hello, anti air. Beautiful confirm from Hubert, and we're going to set up the situation to call out a DP and still get another convert into Frenzy State. This is huge. Should be able to close this out here even without the super. Still has a few reps left. And there it is, the Jesus. Gore-Tex just adding up that damage. Yeah, do not count Hubert and Berserker out at all. Okay, converts but doesn't get recovered in time to get that block out. Not gonna be too much damage on this one here. But he's gonna be in a pretty good situation. So jump in, wait to try and bait out the DP. Oh, that's actually a great call to set up our Frenzy State while Blue Linkies just waiting for you to make a decision on how you're going to cut time Raging Storm. And it allowed Hubert to get this awakening situation here. Plenty of mana. And with the routing that Hubert is known for, this will kill. There it is. The super coming through. Hubert looks too oh, so good in this matchup. Yes. Going yep. down in that first round and then immediately after Hubert just cranks it up to 11. Yeah, very studied in this match. No. And we're going to character select for blue linkies. Who are we pulling Ooh. out? Dragonite? You know, I could see that, right? Like, that'd be a great call to kind of control the pace and you lock down um, Berserker a little bit more consistently with the safety of Astra. Um, we'll see. Blue Linky's definitely thinking about it here, taking a bit of a breather as well. I think that's good, right? We don't see too many players in this game stop to take a little bit of a breather. They normally just jump straight into it. Right. But we're actually going to lock it in with Swiftmaster here. Just wanted to take a second to let Hubert cool down a bit. Here we go. Th this will be a historic bracket here if Hubert pulls this off. We'll see what happens. Same color Swift Master, new venue to fight in. Ooh, with DP, that's a bad look to start. Starts off with a 5B as the starter here. 
Yang going for the stylish combo, sending out the orb, flashing BNB. All right, what a call out there. That's back to back DP is going to get called out. Round for Blue Linkies. Linkies. That little, just that little cool off session definitely working out so far. Yep. Oh, trying to counter poke. I like that setting up more as well. April land a huge starter. Yeah, good lord. Taking to the skies. Berserker has no chance right now. Back is up against the wall, but remember, health is just a resource here for you. Resource for you, but the moment you put him in awakening, he starts to build it all back. He's, yep, good convert to slow things down. Gives the opportunity for Ants here. Should be the round here for Blue Linkies and does. That's a one game start for Blue Linkies against Hubert. An absolutely dominating round too. Hubert was mm -hmm. not able to get a single thing started. Blue Linkies controlled the pace of the matchup perfectly. It's the stage, that's what it was. It was the stage all along. Just gotta fight in the bar. <laughs> good old fashioned bar fight. Big reach on the 2B, and yes, that will absolutely destroy the Blood Wall. Okay, what's our setup would be? Just a normal jump in here, keeps the pressure, set up for the corner with Raging Storm after. Find the mark with that 2B, and look at all the resources we have. This is huge for Hubert. The routing could be enough. We're trying, we're trying. Yeah, we had to go for reset. Call out DP. Wow. Beautiful call out there. Hubert now sitting at set point. Here we go. This could be it. Hubert. Hubert could be eliminating Blue Linkies from the corner. Whoa. Not like that. Raging Storm goes out and still able to press the 5A. Caught Hubert trying to press back. Passing out the orb again. The question is, are we going to go for the hard knockdown or the tech out? Knockdown this time. And that chip damage in. Yep. Big DP caught jumping in here. Hubert getting a convert. Oh, no, nice. but running straight into the tornado activation here. Hubert is going to be able to survive this. Has to figure out a way to escape from the corner. Wow, oh, the throw, expecting a third quick fall there, and Blue Link is finding a round. Both players backing up. Hubert was absolutely just waiting for that charge buster to come out, rolls straight into the tornado. Blue Link gets the pickup with the 5B. Things aren't looking too good. Another corner situation here that Hubert needs to try to figure their way out of it. Wow. That Vortex helped with that 2B, and what a pickup here for Hubert. Frenzy State will push into Awakening. Reset situation here, goes for Convert High, no confirm though. But that could have been it as well. That was the game winning drop, but there's the DP. Oh, we're reaching, reaching though. The Convert does get blocked, has the guard cancel. Roll Ooh. through, perfect timing, goes for oh. DP, what a call out. Blue Linkies has seen this one before, two all. How did he not get hit? Did, what, was it the tornadoes that saved him? It was just a block. Cause we DP'd. But he sucked him in. Yeah, sucked him in and just immediately blocked right after. I, it had to, I'm waiting for the replay to hit through on my end, but yeah, cause immediately after sucking, um, after the Vortex pull, Blue Linkies was able to just block right away. DP tries to rip through for a punish. Crazy. Yeah, That's absolutely insane. And we are now sitting here at game five. Blue Linkies able to bring it back to O. here as well. Very strong here. Got the orb. The tick throw this time. The mix up right is going for the three, three dash down every single time. 
Yeah, we've been in this reverse sweep situation last week, right? Blue Linkies went down pretty hard in the bracket and just immediately turned it around. There's that storm. Friends the opportunity and Hubert has to bet it all. Oh no, but a perfect KO from Blue Linkies. The snowball starting to roll in their favor. Pick up as well. Massive life lead to start. Nice roll through, able to challenge with the two way starter. Alright, Hubert's still in this here. Gonna be able to go into a nice mix up after this next loop. Whoa! I think we wanted a high convert a little bit earlier, and instead we went to convert Elf Splitter. Yikes, that'll do here. Blue Linkies with the reverse sweep 3 2 over Hubert. Alright, Mega Dosage gonna be in the with the pink hair, and Lupro with the purple hair here. Strong getting the pickup as well straight to the god to grab. That corner. Mm -hmm. Woo! Trying to go for the high. That was cheeky. That was cheeky. Yo, deep cross up right there. What a pickup here from Lupro, too. Go straight into the god to grab. We're going to see a safe jump after this. Goes for the overhead option. Charge. I can't believe you went for the swing right there. I mean, hey, you got the life lead, so you may as well. Fireball coming out, rushing down, and the DP at the last possible second saw the fly come out from Mega Dosage and just mash on that 2MM. With the late pressure here. Beautiful pickup as well. Gonna get the hole. Oh, there it is. Astro got another follow up for you here. Oh my god. Oh, we're gonna send Lupro near into awakening state now. Ooh, nice 2A challenge from Lupro. This is where it's gonna get dangerous. Lupro has, it's gonna have plenty of mana to work with. Look at that regen speed. Yo. The conversion cancel, but the gotcha grab. What a challenge! The audacity! Sending out the air fireball here, just trying to harass both of them, sending out Astra. Oh, single brain cell. Yo, exactly, exactly. The same aerial movement back to back. So capitalizing on here with the Astra loops. Forefathers bear witness. Here comes the safe jump. Yo. Good defense here. And now it's Megatos who's take the turn. Nice carry. Coast to coast. Back to the... Look, go wherever you want to go, Luper. Or Megatos. It's just fine. I think Megatos has lost the plot on that one as well. Just like, yeah. oh no, I did not mean to cross up this many times. And unfortunately, yes. Lupro is going to capitalize on that situation here, going up in game one. That was just really unfortunate. Definitely that second cross under is not what Megados did want. I mean, they went for that air right. fireball, but it just went nowhere. Yeah, you know, it definitely seemed like it was supposed to be that carry to the east side, and we just overextended and then tried to make best of a messy situation. By going back to the west side, and it's just too little too late for that adjustment there. But Mega Dosage, starting with a strong lead. Yo, the Lupro calling out the challenge there to Astra. Now just walking Mega Dosage all the way over to the corner. Catches with the low. Okay, we got our pickup. Ooh, but not able to follow with the fireballs. You a little bit earlier on the call for Astra there. Oh, okay, I like the setup. Goes for the high situation. And anti-anti-airs. 
Mupro is in trouble. And able to close out the round here. Mega Dosage really needs to tie this up here. It'll be devastating to allow Lupro to go 2-0. What an anti-air call out there. And this is how a fireball carry looks like, says Lupro. <laughs> nice challenge on the Astro setup there. Supposedly you're paying the price. There's the spin, so much damage tacked on. One more chance here. Wow, what a confirm for the delay. Two A's here. Lupro getting around. And this is a big round now for Lupro, right? Trying to get this 2-0 lead over Megadosis. They can at least rest a little bit. Goes for the conversion. Gets a tricky cross up. Yo, that is beautiful. Got the carry and OTG after. Astra saves the day. Trying to avoid these air fireballs there. Great maneuvering. Yeah. Astro, good air to air. Nice pickup with the air boost. Here we go, sending them into the corner. Goes the overhead this time, harassing with the 2B. Sends out Astra. Hold on to this pressure. Whoa! What a challenge! 5A from Mega Dosage. Anti air with the shot. Unbelievable pickup there. That's a move you rarely ever see come out from Dragonite, actually. But Lupro still able to get the low. Yo, the challenge spent for Awakening here. It's a wrap. First game for Mega Dosage. Tying it up one all. That's the Excalibur coming out there. And all right, we are tied up now. 1-1. One, one. Mega Dosage able to secure a victory. That was a key round for both of these players here. Yes, absolutely. Jeez, the challenge. We're going to roll through and look, we get out of dodge with the aerial movement there. All but chasing into the skies, going to get a nice pick up. Setting out Ashley to get the combo with the fireball. Cool. Oh, jeez. Yeah, a little bit of overextension, but Lupro not able to find a mark. And now we're going to carry over to the west side. In terms of control, it does seem that Lupro has the, the more consistent control here and able to route more con uh, more frequently with uh, combo confirms as a, compared to Mega Dosage. Yeah, and that, that jump over into the corner may not have worked, but you're seeing that Lupro is starting to realize that Mega Dosage is waking up with buttons every single time he tries to run up and summon Astro, right? Yep. So trying to figure out options for that. Good adaptations already so far. Harassing with the 2B. There's Astra and there's the call out. See? Megadosis mm -hmm. is being too predictable now with these challenges. Yep. Lupro showing the mastery of Dragonite right now. The routing going for optimal damage as well. One more interaction. The Godric doesn't kill here. No, oh, it does. Oh my god. <laughs> I command the kneel. Lupro going up 2-1. Last shot here from Mega Dosage, and you're right, that small adjustment of realization from Lupro is going leaps and bounds in the favor for Lupro here. Nice two-way challenge pick up as well. Astro with the fireball setup to carry over. Get the OTG there. Straight into a safe jump opportunity, or are we gonna summon Astro? Of course, it's a Dragonite. You know what's gonna happen. Oh, what a pickup. This is gonna be devastating. Oh my goodness. It's not over yet. One more loop. Oh, you're dead. No way. <laughs> And again, that mastery of Dragonite, Lupro coming out on top. All right, but Mega Dosage now is going to put the hurt on Lupro with some loops of his own. The Loops Brothers, please. We'll drop out, challenges to Astra, and look, the overextension allows Mega Dosage to get this corner situation in a positive spot to be in here. Good pickup with Astra to set up for the open. The throw gets the kill.
and the seven gold letters. Perfect. All right, air fireball just gonna hit Asher in the face. Take him off the team. Get down, Mr. President. <laughs> I'll take the air to air. That's fine. He's gonna float right in front of me. I just get the punish. Oh, the Lupro gonna capitalize on this damage here. Here comes the spin. Oh, we actually don't get the spin. Instead, we get the Godric grab here into the mix-up. Yeah, I think we wanted to not over-exhaust into the mana pool right now. Oh. Doesn't have mana, though, so this might not kill. Oh, no, wait, never mind. You were just saying? The Godric grab for the victory here. That's 3-1 for Lupro, showing the true mastery of Dragon Knight in this set. I think that's a really good call, but also, I mean, Swiftmaster is pretty good at utilizing the Buster there to right. catch the, the Molotov throws, right? Yeah. Maybe he wants something a little more reliable and a little faster here. What are, yeah, I, ooh, good challenge right there from Anton. Nice. Gonna catch the dash group, but unfortunately, Blue Link, he's still coming out on top feeling confident. Yeah, gonna be able to put Anton into the corner here and start running this mix-up game with Ghost Blade. Oh, I actually like that. Instead, decide to throw up the ghost at the end of the pressure straight. But Anton, what a pickup into a conversion. Absolutely. Wheel set up. Good check in the corner here. Impatience as well from Blue. You know Anton is not going to be pressing full screen here when that ghost is locking him down. Oh, absolutely. Anton's patience has been absolutely immaculate throughout this bracket. Beautiful whip punish here. Yeah, with an instant overhead, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's done. Oh, what a, what a good way to end it there with the dive kick. Yeah. <laughs> Straight into the next one. That's what we don't see every day from Berserker. Catches the roll through with the 2A. Oh, I said Berserker. My bad. Go through. <laughs> Thinking about Berserker. Zerking all over. Oh. Whoa. That Whoa. is that was tricky bizarre. setup. Yeah, Anton tries yeah. to go for that. It's a tricky setup. If you are not holding the block button, you are going to get hit. Okay, nice 2A challenge. Not gonna be dead here. Anton's been pretty good at escaping from this pressure. Let's see if they got one more left in them. Pushing ever close to that guard break, but the anti-air conversion pickup has awakening for the kill as well. Just do it! Anton! There, there he is! is. How, how do you cook a ghost? Holy fuck, it's holy fire. Oh, you're right. You're right. You mean to tell me the Inquisitor? You you really think look, all we know about the Crusades, you act like okay. Look, I'm used to I'm used to ghosts being weak to holy damage, you know what I mean? Or to holy light fire. Damage. Yeah. We're throwing holy water, holy crosses, you know, the boomerangs and uh the whips, how do ghosts die to a vampire killer? You know, like that's crazy. It's a vampire killer, not a ghost killer. You're right, you're right. But so, it's, also, it's also an ordained whip from God himself, you know? I mean, I guess that's, some or that's an ordained ax. <laughs> exactly. Just bathed in holy water. They have a holy water bathtub and they just dunk things in it. Just made out of silver too. <laughs> Gonna get some werewolf and weapon. vampires. That's not a very good weapon. That thing bends in excessive heat. You should not keep that near your fire. Okay. This mid-screen challenge here. We're about to see, I guess, uh, Blue Link is content with the pacing of Inquisitor here. And how we're going to handle these mid-screen normals. How we handle, uh, you know, Flame Carpet. I think that's important because you're locking down, like, that dash-up approach. Because even if you get Buster, then you have to contend with what is in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Here we go, the wheel now locking down Blue Link. He's in the corner. Archer still on. Just tries to go for the open as a great roll out of the corner. Yeah, he's going to get a massive punish as well. The cycle continues. Pressure with Raging Storm on top of it, too. 
I don't think we're gonna get enough mana back in time to really push this guard break here. So yeah, Anton does get an opportunity to push out. Heal goes turning. Spent a chunk of life as well to put himself safe, but hold on. This isn't gonna kill, but it is going to lead into something very dangerous for Blue Link, which is teching straight into another wheel. This is gonna be insane. Okay, avoids the buster, but unfortunately lands into the hands of Blue Linkies out here. Classic stuff here from Swiftmaster, establishing some pressure. There, yeah, you gotta be careful about that. Whenever you see a Swiftmaster summon a tornado like that when you're backed up against the wall, you just have to expect they're gonna go for the vortex. Right. Especially too, like, what does Blue Linkies have to lose, right? You know, like, I'm at full health. Hey, come on now. Oh, but the back throw, we've seen Anton do this more than once. Never say never is the motto for Anton here, but we're exhausted out, so we gotta let this rock. As long as we get the guard break, does find a hit. No shot. Oh my god, Anton. If you leave Anton at a magic pixel, you better pray to God because he is going to set you on fire. You can't pray to God. Anton's supported by God. It's Inquisitor. You gotta pray for mercy. How many? That is. Three magic pixel comebacks that we have seen from Anton tonight. Look at that, your wins are not enough to blow out the flames endowed by God. Crusader who? Unbelievable. Anton now sitting 2-0 against Blue Linkies here. So pray to God. God can't save you now. See, Crusader might give you mercy. Inquisitor, no. I mean, look at this. We're armed to the teeth here. Okay. Oh, Full screen buster. Yeah, Blue Linky is not even going to solid confirm, but uh, at least the message was sent. But this conversion is going to send an even bigger message. Again, shout to TF2. Woo! And Anton not gonna be able to close this out quite yet. Needs a bit more. DP Ender. Oh wait, no. Oh my no. God. Hold on. Are you no? Okay, okay. We got the. Oh, you're going <laughs> what? Last round opportunity for Blue Linky. Here we go. Anton threatening a 3-0 sweep against Blue Linky. This will be a huge upset. Yes, sir. What's up, fire? What the patient did he approach to? Oh, yeah. Anton would jump straight into an S. That was such a big bet from Anton right there, and unfortunately, Blue Link is able to capitalize on it. Too big a risk, too little reward for Anton here. Yo, the low! Wheeled up, keep the damage building. Dive. Oh, no. Is this gonna be enough? No, no. It'll be a lot. Yeah, we got DP under here. Reset. Oh, gets the plus frame. Ooh, the belt is out. Blocks the instant Yo, overhead. Oh, that was wild. And you see, too, Anton still fishing for that big DP. There's no more meter. It's all up to Anton here. Could oh, go in, but the jab! Gattle! Straight into a 5A. Yep, yep, that'll do here. Oh my god. Oh. Alright, Blue Linky's still alive. If just barely. Okay, alright, alright. Got another round here. Again, just trying to throw out, trying to call out any command dash forward. Yep. Got the carpet going out there. Dash through. Nothing doing here. Blue Linky is not biting. We're getting out of dodge basically for Anton. 
We'll see Anton feeling it, feeling the pressure, being very patient here in the approach, gets hit by the 5B. Okay. Off the corner situation we go, 50% health already gone. Anton needs to push out here, and we've seen it before, but again, the, the get out of the dodge, full retreat, and we'll fish at the full screen. If you want to play a full screen game, Blue Link is, is willing to accommodate that. Head of his own, but Blue Link, he's not getting hit. No! You want to dash a 5A? Here's mine. Get the S on as well. Plus frames. There's the fire. Gets the run up DP. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, Anton is going to be able to survive this thanks to the fact that Blue Linkies was not in awakening. Flame carpet. And you saw the Blue Linkies drop the combo right before Anton went to awaken. Yep. Right? Yep. Incredibly smart awareness. Ten seconds left, dude. Yeah. Not again. Jump. I swear to God. Not again. Not again. The lead is in Blue Linkies' favor. And it does mean that Anton needs to make something happen right now. Oh, and it's fire. Unfortunate. Blue Linkies, they're going to time out and get a point on the board finally. That was dangerously close to being another one. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't. All right, two to one. Blue Linky's finally getting a point on the board. That's Blue Linky's first point in the set. Last time we saw Blue Linky, they made the reverse three yep. comeback. Exactly. Very slow here from Anton, trying to find the right opportunity to strike. Oh, and there we go. Blue Linky's finally able to land that buster on the command match like they've been fishing for all set. Oh, absolutely. All right. Really down in health. Plenty of resources. Awaken, too. Blue Linky's has to be careful. But the challenge, there we go. Beautiful 5A. Or, no, 5B, excuse me. And a perfect? What is this? Blue Linky's goes down 2-0 and then just starts pulling out perfects? Blue Linky's putting on a show. That's all. That's all there is to it. Gets the throw on Anton now, starting to incorporate a bit of a throw into the strike throw game. Oh no, and there's the vortex into the throw here. And Blue Link is just controlling the pace of this entire match. Oh, 2A to stuff out the instant overhead. What is going on? What kind of a reaction is that for Blue Link with a hard call out? I'm gonna get the hard knockdown here in the corner. G is raging, and look, the guard gauge is gonna be a real problem here. And also that awakening state is gonna be a real problem too. The wheel keeps turning. Just punches the wheel. Why be to call out the JMS? This should be enough for Blue Linkies to close this out. This is going to game five. I, I don't I don't know how Blue Linkies does it. I don't know how Blue Linkies is able I, to make these 3 0 comebacks. Like, ha, like, blood has to be cold as ice to remain. Like, I can't. The stress of going to a game five situation each time like this. But look, Anton pulling the book out of Blue Linkies' uh, game plan here. Uh, just. Let's ice it for a second here. Let's take a moment, recollect our thoughts, and get back into the set. I agree. I need a breather, too. <laughs> there we go. Jumping straight into it. Oh, man. This is... What a wild night of DNF Duel, you know? Everyone, deep breaths. We are going into game five now. And unfortunately, one of these players is going to be eliminated. Yes. Jesus. Oh, what a starter there. The buster. That's over half your health gone. Good, 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 good. 
And plenty of resources available for Anton, but again, like, we gotta find this opening. Blue Linkus is not giving the shot. And that guard gauge is crumbling away so rapidly. Nice. Great JMS, though. Oh, missed the dive kick, or maybe that was intentional just to get close, continue pressure. Yo, well, that's a great whip punish with that dive. Should be dead here, yep. Anton once again sitting at set point, but can they close it out? That break, all that Anton needed was a break there. We're turning this around. Gotta finish your food here. Can't let Blue Link make this comeback. Wheeled up, and that gives Anton the opportunity to close the gap. There's a DP. Oh, Ooh. no, he conversion. Oh, God, my heart. We go to the top round. Don't count Anton out yet. We've seen it before. Not done until we see a KO. Oh, oh. That was the opportunity you saw Blue when you yeah. like, I'm getting oh, yeah. out of so here. Wait a minute, I've extended a bit too far here. Oh, oh misses the pickup though, that could have been it. So now we're in a game. Game. from now we're at, yeah. Here we go, final game, final round here. One of these players is going home. Again, fishing with that buster, Anton needs to be careful. You cannot afford to get hit by one of those. Rapid fire. Oh, jet. Yep, that 5D. We're going back to the old me, says Blue Linky. Tega coming through with the tier one sub for seven months. Jeez, mm -hmm. goes for the low this time around. Scoop up, and this is a problem for Anton. Tornado set up as well, too. Locked down in the corner again, wheeled up. Just trying to keep Blue Linkies in block, son. It's not gonna work. Look at your guard gauge. Oh my god. What do we do? It's about to be crunch. Oh. Had the guard cancel attempt there, but Blue Linky saw it a mile away. And that's there two. Three, two victories over a burst sweep for Blue Linkies. Another one. Once again, I swear to God, Blue Linkies, if you keep putting me on this roller coaster of emotion tonight. Ghost Blade up against Dragon Knight here, gone mad. Still fight for their tournament life here to make it back. Ooh, try to, I love the, the change of momentum right there for the jump arc to try to get Ghost to overextend, make a safe landing, but unfortunately Ghost still swinging that backswing is so devastating. Gets the 2B, excuse me, excuse me. Didn't get too much off of it, but still maintains that corner pressure. It's the threat. Like, God Map did hardly anything in that corner situation, and then the moment Ghost was activated, it was just locked up. What's gonna happen? Lupra just did not move. Whoa, great convert to call out the roll. Ooh, again, a very weird interaction right there. Wanting able to get that final conversion there. Okay, hold the dragon. Last shot. The convert to A. Blink and you're gonna miss it. Rip of damage here to be able to lead into a mix up, has enough mana. Goes overhead into the low this time, double low. Yeah, that's a great gun of series, yeah, double low. It is. I'm, I'm a more, more of a fan of uh, War in the Pop. Oh, yeah, 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 you know. And it is that holiday time, great Christmas uh, animated to pay attention to. <laughs> you would have thought I remember. It's the stagger pet. Ain't no way you're safe with that. What? Oh, but the teleport underneath. Not able to find a good angle, though, to get an anti air. Bro, challenging. And there we go. Able to take a round. Yeah, 
uh, War in the Pocket family friendly. Totally. <laughs> 0083 is definitely. Uh, you know what I mean. Speaking of. But yeah, you know. HMS. <laughs> yeah, that's great too. Same era, but 0083 is still better. Oh, okay. Hold on. We got to comment. <laughs> we can argue later. <laughs> for me. For me. But yeah, quarter situation is looking rough for Lupro. No reversal out. God mad with a perfect. I think that was just a. Go do it. Essentially a perfect. Right? Scratch damage. Yeah. JA though coming out there clutch at the end. Godmat is so good with this corner pressure. Right, starting off with the air. Fireball just dashes right into the sword. Whoa. Setting up the ghost. Yo! Yeah, really good challenge right there. All the patience just immediately falls out the ghost. Try and go for a big, but overextends a little too much. Lupro now able to turn the tables. We're going back to the other side. Beautiful pickup, especially with the fireball set up on top of it. Yo, good defense from Gone Bad. Takes the corner too. I, that was oh! a you miss it moment, but God mad. Able to score a hit here. Gonna be able to take the round. Oh, no, you don't. No baseball yeah. swings here. Absolutely not. Ghost has something to say about it. Lots of damage, but dropped. Oh no, gone mad. Not like this. A throw. I'm gonna get that corner carry thanks to Astra. Oh, it goes low this time with Astra. Gonna be a ton of damage here. Goes for another loop. We can squeeze one more loop here. No, instead we have to go into the God grab. Yo, and the combo drop. That singular blunder built up to this round loss here for God Matt. That option to go for a jump in there. Round start, force to block Astro, but a nice roll through. Astro coming in clutch though. Yeah, really had to respect Astro. Unfortunately, being sandwiched in between the two creates a massive problem. Ooh. Interesting. A very precarious position, though, especially since the anti I don't think would have found its mark if Gone Mad attempted to go for it. But evening the score is Gone Mad right now in the terms of health. Good mix up here, but instead, Lupro pressing out. He's in Awakening also. Should be able to close this. Yeah. Get close. There we go. Just go for it. Spend it. Excalibur. Jeez, that was looking mad high. I thought for a fraction of a second that maybe Lupro will whiff. But we find it here. One all on the scoreboard. Or no, excuse me, two one. Two one. No, it's one all. Oh, yeah, yeah, producers one. ahead of it. Let's go! <laughs> on point. It's immediately new. Just new. The seeds of trip to new challenger. Round one. Wow, what a beautiful air to air. You're getting a hard knockdown. Time to run this ghost mix up. Actually, no, we're, we're just going to hold on to the ghost. And put more pressure there at the end. All right, got our throw. Lots of work to be done on the side of Lupro, but the throw will close it out. For gone mad. Perfect. Oh, gone mad teleporting right into the path of the fireball. There we go. Safe jump pressure coming. Oh, goes to the em empty and a fly. Okay. Right in the face of your opponent, huh? That's gutsy. Punished for smacking up Astra. Rude behavior, if you ask me. Right. Here. No, we have to go for the Godger grab. 
It's the DP, and that's enough to do it. Lupro answering back with their own. Perfect. Yeah. GG. Keep it rolling. Good chunk of health already gone here, too. That pressure. Jeez, the challenge for God, man. Get more and more brave in finding these gaps. Oh, my God. The instant overhead. And you're going all the way into the corner. Taking half of your health bar with it. Yeah, stay right in the corner there. We're looking for Max. You just got that, man. You literally just... It didn't even say one. You... Press that special, knowing darn well it was going to come out. You're a mad lad gone mad. You've gone mad. That's true belief. Great round start here for gone mad. Immediately maintaining that control in the corner. Ooh. Thank God for Astro right there. This fat definitely smoke loop. OTP pickup, nice. Yeah, as long as Gone Mad just keeps being consistent with these corner combos, we're gonna be in a good spot. Oh, yeah, and there you go. <laughs> it, yeah, again, yeah, incredibly consistent. It seems like every time Gone Mad puts Lupro in the corner, that's his round. Yeah. And, now and as long as Gone Mad doesn't drop the combo in the corner. We've had that one drop. That did give Lupro the momentum that they needed to turn things around. True. Ooh, good defense. So, oh, yeah. All I hear is a Kool-Aid man summoning ghosts. He is blue. <laughs> just jab it out. Shut down ghosts entirely. And just these run up five A's also to catch Lupro attempting to jump out of the corner. And I think that's... Nope, not quite it. Didn't build up enough meter there, but gets the empty jump and throw. Gone Mad's going to take it 3-1. By the low shit. <laughs> you got to stay nice and moisture. Okay. Yeah, Look, the lotion. We got, we got we got the lotion on the skin. I can see. <laughs> Until we get to the grand finals, you put the Again. lotion on the skin. Look, y'all got dirty minds. Okay. You just said lo lotion and then pregnant pause. What are we supposed to do with that? Look, I mean, you're the ones who are. <laughs> all right, let's jump in. Ten year meal is already going wild on Layden. All right. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Come on and slam. Can Cole to wrap it up for Hitman against Layden for the first round. All right, back dash here at round star. It just gets the charge up grab here. Pick up the damage in return, and we're still chasing it down. Yeah, catch that back dash there with the 5A. Great DP, though, for Tenured Mule. Yes, perfect timing. Okay, we're off in the block. Good patience, not overextending. Look, let Grapper throw a fit. That's fine. Oh, Ooh. the parry. What an answer. Hey, finds it smart. Now it's Tenure Mule's turn to take it. Gets the OTG. Tenure Mule able to land the instant overhead, and that should be it. Slam OTG. Has the extended hits, too, so should. Yep, there we go. Why did we get so many loot? That's just because Hitman. This game's just insane. This game's crazy. Who knows? They, they probably asked themselves that question of making it. Why does Hitman get all these loops? Who knows? Why not? I don't. <laughs> the real question here is why is Grappler coming to a uh, a gun and knife fight with just his bare hands? Because he armors up. His muscles are so strong that he can flex away bullets. <laughs> Oh, boy, he's getting hit by that DP, though. Still trying to run in. There's the charge shoulder tackle. The Magma Salt. Oh, nice. 
actually reset for throw. I, that's the thing. Leda's mix-up game is crazy because you're expecting a full string from something safe and just Layden takes the gamble, the risk to cancel into some sort of throw when the opponent at least expects it. Oh, and there we go. 5k. Should be able to close this Yo. out straight oh. into the super. Maximum grappler. It's a kick. <laughs> I am the maximum grappler. Well, you know what? Now that I think about it, don't they call it Baki the grappler too? Yeah, it's true. And he does like yeah. no grappling, barely any. Yeah, yeah so. Oh, Ooh. what a hell of a whiff punish there on the DP. Stagger pressure, nice. Team reversal. Converts the anti-air. Good stuff to carry back to the corner with the juggle. Oh, Woo! low this time. Stop short, tries to go for a reset. Yeah. Jeez, yeah, completely respecting the shoulder checks, too. No lows. Oh, but the back edge is going to get caught by the jump. Still alive here. Goes for another reset. Ooh. Tried. Good convert, but one touch away. There's the DP. Layden so close to tying this up. 1-1 one, one just needs to get their game plan rolling. It's so hard because of the spacing that Henry Mule is playing at. Absolutely. Coming out on top of the trade is Teddy or Mule. Did you see that conversion there to make sure they can pick it up? <laughs> The throw again 2A. Yeah, this time actually blowing up the armor from Layden. Uh oh. I mean, you got what do you got to lose at this point? Oh, toss. Hold on. Oh, but the DP beating out the air, grabbing 10 years. You're gonna go up 2 0 here in winners' finals. Yeah, 10 years been very consistent of, of letting Layden get in as close as possible before ripping a DP. So that at that point, it's a guarantee that DP is going to hit. It's not going to whiff. It's rare. And we've seen it one time when Lady does get that whiff punish. Yeah, and it's also using the DP as an answer to grab, right? Yeah. Not not jumping out of the grab. Whenever they think a grab is coming, you DP. Ooh. Conversion reset for the highs. Boomerang catches the jump. Get it, close to that guard break. Oh. Keep, keep your guard canceled. That was kind of disgusting. That's rude. Now we're at set point. Yo, the double back dash. We need all the space in the world. Big jump in. What a cross up. Done. Oh, God. I thought another one's coming. Oh, but the jump back there with the flip kick. Harassed with these long range, but gets with punish. Oh, good stand block here. Oh my god. And able to get a follow up as well. One more hit. Oh, no. You don't have to. Oh, I get, I get it. I get it. I get it. Because the follow up, we were worried about that there. But unfortunately, 10 year fuel. Gonna fire away. 3 0 victory over Layden. Tenured mule knew that he knew that he knew. Yeah, that was all that it was. That was just big brain mind game. Yeah. yeah it's starting to shake up the entire meta of the game, right? And the meta is still developing. Yeah, shake up like a volcanic eruption here in this loser semis round. Gone mad loser. Ooh, big DP. Yep. Tries to fake out the instant overhead there with the conversion. Uh oh. Gotta watch your back. Right, they have the DP there a couple of times with these dashboards into the block button. Goes coming through. Clutch though and gone mad. Taking the first Yo. round here very quickly. Oh, Jesus. Run up and find out. Get smacked in the face with that 5A. Oh, 
Cheese, yep. And has to find the space to convert, expecting an interaction from God Madden. It's nothing doing. Ever stoic is God Madden in the neutral. Linky's here to be able to get nice corner carry again with the wall bounce combos. Oh, three oh. get blasted. He just punched the router with that. <laughs> oh, catches that teleport forward as well. Here we it's go. Like the, it's like the base subwoofer just shook the foundation of the router and just lift off. All right. Tied up in rounds. Fastball combo, still able to confirm a hard knockdown. Jesus. No matter how many times I see those routes from Swiftmaster, I'm just like, wow, it's still going. <laughs> wow, just out of range for the Helm Splitter from Ghostblade. God, man, just trying to find a hit here, trying to get their pressure started. Blue Linky's impeccable spacing is able to punish with that 5B. Belt it up. Let's wrap it up. Oh, dropped it! Oh, still threatening a perfect here. This is still in control. There it yeah, is, the 2A. And that's a perfect. <laughs> Chip damage doesn't it is, it is a slight perfect. It wasn't perfect. It was almost perfect. Which isn't perfect at the end of the day. I can't believe this. Oh Whoa. no. Gone mad. Going for a big gamble on that jump in at round start. Yeah. Sometimes you got to see if the opponent is uh, aware enough to anti air. I appreciate that. But then also, full screen anti air from Blue Linkies. Terrifying prospect. God Mad just doing a absolute rip of damage. You're spending all and of the mana going into exhaustion. Oh, the 5A though, just up the ghost. So God Mad is sitting here, no mana to his name, gets hit by the 5B. Nice character of the corner with the Vortex, yeah. Looking like a pinata right now. It's just, it, and the mana is still building up. Oh, oh no. no! The delay, the stagger there, staggering just a a little bit longer, a half note longer there, and was able to hit gone back. Support. I mean, that's a press at that point, right? Like, golly, you opened up. Ooh, and able to get the conversion too. It was a big cost, but. It did its job. You have the corner position here. You're getting a substantial life lead and building back up on mana. You get to go for a little bit of a mix up here. Unfortunately, didn't have enough mana to summon Ghost right to start. And Blue Linky's been so on point with stuffing out Ghost at the end of those strings. Absolutely. Ooh, what a challenge. Oh, but the teleport. Dropped it. Not be dropping stuff. Come on now. Blue Linky really just needs one more confirm here. Has super on deck. Full screen. The dance is what we're playing here. You ran into it. Five A. Blue Linky doesn't drop this. That means they're going to be going up 2-1 here against Gone Mad. Awakening wraps it up and seals the deal. Actually ran to the other side, too. Yeah, just to make sure. The timing was a little weird. Right? Like, he flew up there pretty high. It wasn't expected. There we go. Blue Linky's here threatening to close this out 3-0. Oh, and Gone Mad has been able to get things started, but just isn't able to close out these rounds, right? When they land the hits, they're doing tons of damage, but they're only landing like one substantial hit per round. 
That raging storm set up as well. Six more hits. Two more? No? Ah, uh, I was trying to bet. You see the few 38s? I got the belt out, folks. Look, don't need to worry about the belt if I got a sword that can reach over there. Ooh, are you able to close this out here? No. Should be able to go into summon swords and tornado, right? Yeah. Damage is going to add on another buster. Oh. Uh -huh. I called it. What'd I tell you? All right, you win the champ points this time. <laughs> Oh, but the 5A trade of Blue Linkies now sitting at set point. Solid trade right there and great decision making for Blue Linkies to close out that round. Oh, you thought you could try to punish me through that, but you can't. But still, gone mad, finding the, I don't know, threading the needle to get the hit. And just like that, Blue Linkies returning the favor for a corner position as well. Bad. Momentum is just all in Blue Linky's corner. That snowball is rolling and getting bigger. Ooh. First time they use that in the set. Yeah. All right, needs one more reset here in order to close it out with a 3-0 victory. The throw! We're gonna see how Grappler is going to fare here up against Swiftmaster now. Straight into it, Blue Linky's being very patient. Ooh. Just waiting for them to press the button. Yeah, no chance. Not a single one from Blue Linky's. Like, look, I know I have low health. I ain't about to fight. So the Raging Storm as well. But we've seen Lady so good at playing patient and capitalizing when the moment is right. Blue Linky's, though, getting a lot of violence in this 5B already here. Right, goes for the reset, wants to build back up on mana. We chase it, and that was an overextension right there. Blue Linky is, is absolutely going to capitalize on this. Yeah, that is going to be death here for sure. Wow. Yeah, Blue Linky is just looking unstoppable at the moment here, playing the spacing game perfectly, and spacing is what matters when you're going up against a grappler. Yes. The dunk. It's a big amount of damage. Goes for a quick reset there with the 5A. And this is why spacing matters. Look at that. It was two touches from Layden, and Blue Linky is already in Layden. Yep. But I mean, that's also problematic for Layden as well. That is true. There we go. Raging Storm causing the tech out. And Layden just able to wait it out here. That 5B, and once you block that 5B, you have to hold all this pressure. It has so much more momentum. Oh, yeah, that guard gauge is also going to be problematic in a bit, too. Oh, the what? Come here, come here, child. I'm sorry for everyone wearing headphones. <laughs> teleported him in. Those are my favorite counters. The ones where they just teleport you. Full screen in the full lead charge, shoulder tackle. Through the pressure, Layden taking around. Layden just getting away with it. Just getting away with it. All right. Okay, starting off on the back foot once again here. Stagger pressure really trying to find an opening here because look. The moment that late impresses, Blue Linkus is ready to for the interrupt. These micro dashes here, trying to slowly inch his way in. There too it is. far away on the shoulder charge. Beautiful wind punch. Yeah, what's important in this set is that Blue Linkus has already established the information that Layden is getting a little antsy at the full screen situation here. Blue Linkus has all the time in the world, and Layden has very few options to close this gap and try to uh, return the control in their favor. Oh, the Magma Salt is a good start. We have to see more of that, oh. and that's why, because Blue Link, he's immediately with the answer. 
Our parry, nice delay buttons as well. Ooh. Oh my god. Good night. No way. <laughs> and Layden going up 1 0 against Blue Linky. So that's also the problem when you're far too patient trying to turtle it out, as it were. Like, one, eventually, Layden is going to close the gap. If you keep giving up ground, Layden is going to get in. Like, that's the mantra of a grappler, right? Health is but a resource, and it's the cost to close the gap against other characters in the roster. Yeah, you need to guess right five times. I need to guess right five times. All right, Blue Linky. Again, this is what we've seen before, right? Blue Linky starts off every single round with the advantage. Layton was able to bring it back each time. And it's just the damage difference, right? Like, look at the damage one combo did against Layden. And then in a few moments, you're about to see one combo from Layden here. And Layden is no longer leaning heavily into that shoulder charge, right? Knowing that they have been whipping it a bit too much, but not yeah. Blue Linkies to 5 e. That was a big call out, right? Because Blue Linkies is, you know, just back dashing, you know, letting Layden approach, whip punishing the shoulders. That wasn't the oh. oh my god. No. Uh, one more cop. <laughs> the dunk. This character. This character. Zero. Horror story. Look, October was last month. Halloween is done. But then again, they got the, uh, what is it? The Santa Claus movie, the Violent Night. So... We are. Lady once again getting blasted into the wall. All it takes is one touch. Patience rumble apart the moment that Layden is able to get in. There's oh my god. You, are you baiting? Wait a minute. Are we playing layers here? Because is Layden baiting out the fact that Blue Linkies is coming in for whip punishes? He has to be buffering. He has to be buffering the counter all the time. But unfortunately, put Blue Linkies into awakening. The Blue Linkies is going to be able to take this round possibly. Oh, yeah. There it is. Great. The awakening super. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was just a miscalculation there from Layton's part, unfortunately doing a little too much damage to Blue Linky. <gasps> no! Oh, no! No, 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 no! way! Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think Blue Linky's is probably a little scared in that situation. Too. The sweat just dripping down. It, it is the Keegan-Michael Key. <laughs> sweat leave. <laughs> Though, cranking this guard gauge, catches the magma salt, and with the 5B. Right here, Jordan Peele. Oh, damn. Anyways. Okay, pushing all the way into the corner. There's the magma oh. salt out into the conversion. Okay. Oh, uh -uh. no. Yeah, Blue Linky's starting to be a little more patient now. Yeah, absolutely. You have to be your own. John will be able to close it out here. Okay, you okay, be okay. Careful. The Blue Linky gets oh. a hit. Oh, no. This is so scary. Blue Linky needs uh, yeah. this round. Yeah, but we've seen Layden pull the trigger on Awaken. Just don't you do it. Don't you. Ten seconds left on the clock. Layden has life lead right now. Converts. Yeah, watch out for the throw. Oh, no throw for you, but the Raging Storm! Oh. Can't take the stress. What an insane scramble there at the end. Blue Link, he's yes. tying it up now, 1-1. Yes. That was a great Raging Storm right there. Yeah, 
it, let it let it be known blue linky said it ain't gonna happen to me imagine getting caught by raw super couldn't be me says blue linky Tech in the corner lane still healthy and just trying to walk forward slowly but surely Ooh. Magma Salt. We're gonna keep this combo going. Oh, nice roll through and able to get a punish too. Stops just short of awakening. Oh, Lane said nah. converts into it anyways. That's fine. Find one more hit. Oh, jeez, that Vortex messed that up real bad, and Blue Link is going to get this punish. Should be killing here. Yeah, Raging Storm there right at the end is enough to pull it out. It's crazy how slow the pace of this matchup is, and it's how explosive it ends up becoming, too. Yeah, like, it's a slow pace because Blue Link is playing that zoning game, and it's very important, right, because... Slip faster is just absolutely fresh. Uh, and especially going up against Grappler. So Blue Link is playing it real smart, biding their time for resources to come back and challenging in the right positions. For sure. And you have challenging in the right position though, Zero. Yeah, Layden finding that one here. But look, we got that whip on the shop dude. Just the back dash, closing the gap when uh Layden overextends. Oh no, oh fuck. Yeah, I believe he's starting to go into that 5A crazy 2B, right? To catch these charged shoulders. Buster. Mm. Yeah, the drop. Anyway. And now going up 2 1. Scary stuff. The seeds are trapped to a new challenger. Round one. Okay. Already got our first knockdown here. Yikes. DP was able to call that one out. I think we're going to. Alright, good start here from Blue Linkies. Oh, jeez. Yep. Oh, wow! Yeah, it is not your turn yet. No, Layden, not Layden. Layden. Yeah, beautiful frame trap right there. Layden now caught on the back, but just has to block this out for a little bit. We had the life lead, but with punish again. Layden really trying to fight against this vortex, like they're going to get that challenge against Blue Linkies. But that is literally why Blue Linkies is playing this full screen game. I got an orb set up. I'll let you try to argue with it, whatever you want to do over there. And then I'll come in for a quick second and shut things down. Nice. Now Blue Linky sitting here at set point. Ooh, oh no. Yo, that was mad fun. That was half screen. Oh, I see go. Oh no. Charging a little too long. A great position right there for Blue Linkies to capitalize on this. Yeah, we have so. This is why the set goes so long. Look how little damage Swiftmaster does to Lady. So we have a few more combos like that in order for this to wrap up. Lady just needs one more touch here to get rid of Blue Linkies and get around. 5B pressure is so good, and that orb is putting in the work. Oh, that conversion saved Layden's life. Yep. Nice. The cross up does get blocked. Oh, beautiful DP for Blue Linkies, but awakening state for Layden. Yep, and now we dance. We'll go ahead, play at that full screen range. The shimmy back and forth. Not too much Layden can really do here. Has to respect the orb. See, this is the problem here. Layden has not respected the orb in any way throughout this entire set. 
They keep overextending in those situations, and that's just free territory for Blue Blinkies to get these whip punishes, just like they did for this victory here. And that's a 3-1 loser's final for Blue Blinkies. Blue Blinkies advancing into that grand final. Bar fights. I restart off with six S there immediately at round start, able to score that pressure. Hard knockdown here, four S. Oh no, the two A finding a mark. Yeah, so as a reminder, this is a run back. Tenure Fuel went 2 0 against Blue Linkies in the previous round. That's for that winner's corners round. And you can see the patience here from Layden as well. Give me Tenure Mule. Oh, yeah, excuse me. Tenure Mule. Oh, two B coming out, catching. It looks like a five B going for it. Yeah, probably. That, that's usually the uh, the poking tool that Blue Linkies utilizes in neutral. Is that forward advancing normal? Nine frames I want to see. Oh, but there's the jump in. Actually, scores a counter hit as well. Oh no, gonna get opened up once again. Not gonna be able to kill here though. Oh, roll straight into the raging storm for the perfect KO. Big swing and not gonna find the hit there. The vortex does. Pull Tenured Mule into a 5A for Blue Linkies here. Good stagger. Yeah, there was plenty of great stagger pressure there from Blue Linkies, but Tenure finding that exact mark for that guard cancel. Get out of the corner, but you're going to lose out to 5B every time. And I feel like that 2B was a great call that we saw earlier to get the interrupt. Yeah, I absolutely agree here. Drastic with this 5B over and over. Mm -hmm. the instant overhead, but Tenure Mule ready for it. Nice. Her DP. Even on health. Neither player to wake I Spoke too soon. Blue Link has just got it. Oh, nice I, roll. Not able to get a punish, though. <gasps> oh, dude. Firm. Oh, no. no. That was much too far. Oh my god, but you know what? That'll do it there. Tenure Mule going up 1-0 here in this grand final set. Can Cole in your face. That's insane. That was no fear. He said, he said I'm going to get hit or I'm going to get plus three. Yeah. That health lead right now. That 5B. Of course, Tenure Mule dancing with the 6S. Just such a good gap closer. This time, though, gets crunched straight into a 5C. Ooh! Oh, oh! Yeah, and it's kill. With the 5A, that is from those Hitman nerfs, right? Yeah, absolutely. Nice throw. Shit down to 6S, but that was a great jump back from Blue League to avoid the situation. Ooh, good reversal. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure what that one was. Probably the slam. Good defense from both players here. That guard gauge is starting to get cranked a little bit here. Only two notches left. Mm -hmm. You see Blue Linky just giving up some space here, waiting for that mana to recharge the full. Got full screen this Samurai Showdown. 
No, there's more waiting in that. <laughs> True, that's actually very accurate. She's already pushed back into the corner. This dance back and forth between these two. And finally, Blue Linky's hitting the mark with 30 seconds left on the clock. That's the second significant combo for Blue Linky's here. That's crazy. The defense between these two is insane. Lucas is doing a lot of spacing where he's trying to preemptively use 5S as just a big wall of a hitbox to catch. Still going forward. But speaking of catching, and your duel not quite able to close it out. Gets oh. the overhead. That was wild because Tenure Buell was expecting a DP and Blue Linky's not giving it. And still Tenure Buell was able to get the instant overhead. The reaction time for Blue Linky's was not on point this time around. Oh, I love it. Ten, your mule now saying, you're down to half health. I'm going to back up and force you to chase me. Force you to overextend. Yes, which is rare considering the patience that we've seen so far for Blue Linkies throughout the night. Good. 5P. Going to get that hit. I mean, you have to think at this point, Blue Linkies does not want to go down to another reverse 3 0 situation, right? Especially when they have to win another. Set after this one, they're able to reset it. You you say that, but that's all that Blue Linkies has been doing this entire night. I don't I don't know what Blue Linkies wants anymore. They want to win, I know that. Here we that's go, Frankie, the guard gauge. Uh oh, yeah. You tried. You really did try to reach after that, but unfortunately, the situation you're in here. Still gonna be alive after this though. Mm -hmm. And now Hitman is in awakening, so you have to be careful. Well, two A. Good cancel. Jesus. Any special move is terrifying. Heard it here. Big chase. Watch out for that vortex. Opted for cancel. I actually really dig that decision. Oh my oh, god! Wow. Just the dash forward DP blue linkies. Kind of nice. The one thing to interrupt the follow-up attack after Cancle that was insane. With 10 seconds left on the clock. Big with punish though. Alright, Tender Mule starting off strong. Goes for the overhead this time, blocks the DP. Massive punish. Oh, goes for jump reset. I don't think that reset is worth a single time. Blue Linky yeah. just recognizes it in DP. Yeah, absolutely. There goes chip down. Tiger Mule just needs one more shot. It can be literally anything. Oh, good roll. My god. Why would you attempt something so risky? Just because you know you can do it? There's the DP. That sounds like what a hitman would do, though. <laughs> I know I'm superior here. I will roll. Uh oh, but here's the star with the buster. Oh my god. It's the best star that Swiftmaster has, right? It's going to be an absolutely massive damage. There's the kick throw. Good patience, though. Tenure Mule is recognizing that Blue Link is off, but as I say that, they run right into the same situation. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. The dive? How did that Kerpox work? What in the world? I guess the chase up with the 6S again. Trying to reset into the overhead, but Blue Link is just on point with these DPs. Absolutely. Raging Storm pick up as well. Oh, whoa! Look at that. With punish the 2A for Blue Link. Jeez, nice confirm. <laughs> Overhead there, but Blue Linky's able to block it. Offensive guard canceled. Just wants to keep Blue Linky in the corner. Awaken for Awaken here, too. Good respect. No meter there. Oh my god, nope. Oh, and there it is. Tenure Mule now up 2 1. This is the activation mode. This is the X Factor for Blue Linkies. Down. 
risking their tournament life here. The seeds are trapped to a new challenger. Final Round boss one. blue linkies now. <laughs> How many successes can we do? It's the success button right here. Good lord, the corner carry here. The cross under as well to get Blue Linkies into this position. Oh my god, DP. Tenny Reveal has a lot of work to do to try to catch up, but I don't think we're going to get the shot here. Blue Link is finding that opening for the round. Yeah, it's absolutely going to close it out here. Didn't even need a buster. All right, Blue Link starting off with the first blood here. Trying to take this to a game five. Yeah. Oh, great jump back, JD. Good respect, but oh no, overextended right there. That's a nice whiff punish from Blue Linkies. Just enough to hold the corner. Oh my god. Oh, it was a punish, though, not a counter hit, so wasn't able to get the crumble there. Back up against the rope. There's the roll through. Lucky they didn't get punished. Challenge, though, with the 2A. And not an awakened state, so. 2A. But Tenure Mule with the challenges on 2A. The stare down moments here. Tenure Mule has pound for pound been winning most of them. The defensive guard cancel gets hit by the DP. They both run oh, that block! That's the one that broke Tenure Mule right there. Wow. Wow, yeah, we just right after I say that Tenure Mule is winning stare down scenarios, that's the one that Blue finally wins. Its time. We are just so close to getting a reset here in Grand Finals once again. And I feel like that's the norm of DNF at, at TNS at this point, right? Like, here's the chase down, get some chip damage. 5B. This button is so unbelievable. No confirm after. Oh my god, what an anti air though. Can Cole air able to get the carry to the corner situation? And no jet from Blue Link. Is Tenure Mule is now really, really fishing for either a DP or a guard cancel, and it's costing Tenure so much guard crush opportunity. Yeah, now we're going to reset point zero. That's true. That's insane. Hesitation. And a moment's hesitation kills you in fighting games, and that couldn't be more true than here at DNF. A reset in Grand Finals, the classic for at this our reset. You fool! Not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> and be all motivated. There was a reset. One more round. Oh my God! No! And Bully is starting this round off strong. Take nearly half of Tenure Mule's health here and has him locked down in the corner. It is not looking too good for our hero. Nice. Oh, but it, that Tenure Mule is getting blown up by 5C so much here when trying to go for 6 Oh my god, the roll through? Oh, that's it? That is it. We have a reset here in Grand Finals. TNS Classic. Blue Linkies resetting a Grand Finals. Look, Blue Linkies, listen. I got a plane to catch. <laughs> You're going to have to uh, tell the plane to wait. <laughs> Evidently, because we still have one more set here of DNF Duel. Shin Grand Finals. Give your airline a call right now and say, hey, Blue Linky's just reset. And I'm sure they'll understand. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I mean, hold on. Everyone, stop all the planes. Oh, 
Alright, that Rage and Storm actually doesn't go for the Vortex in this time. At least we got the lead. Good roll from Tenured. Yeah, yo, this mana exhaustion has been taking forever. The overspend from Tenured Mule has been insane. Yeah, Tenured Mule might have actually been able to close down there, but once the overspend, that's all right. Gets the wake of DP and is going to take this round. Okay, nice. Our pick up to carry over to the corner once again here. Yeah, interesting. No Vortex setup at all. Just goes for Raging Storm to push back. Full screen scenario. But look at the damage that Tenure can output after a couple handholds. Oh, ooh. Actually able to land the third hit of the overhead there. So much is ready to convert. Oh, good one. That, just show it off in this <laughs> You don't have to do it. Oh, but I do. It's mental damage. We're sending a message that I don't have to. Receive. Oh, God. Don't drop this. Not like the. I'm tenured. I was hyping you up. Please. Off the commentator's curse. Zero. Now okay. Sure. There's the guard cancel out. Immediately chasing down Boomerang. Good recognition to not overextend right there after the jump button. Oh, but the drop from Blue Linkies this time. We do. Oh, we're waiting for Blue Linkies to open up the patience. 18 seconds left on the clock, too. You can't get touched. Tenured literally cannot be touched. Tenured's waiting for the throw again. Wait for 10 seconds. Oh my god, guard cancel out. You just ah! You activated my trap card, Shatter Strike. I just did it. <laughs> Why not? So I threw out my Shatter Strike. They ran into it. I can, what else? What more can I say? So anyway, I start black. Uh oh, the link is gonna get the first hit here. In game number two of the reset. Versus the Cancle could have been a little bit earlier approach, but I think the Dark just ate it up. Yo, the, the reactions on these, like, blasts are insane. Oh, and Tenyumil tried to go for a DP there, but got clipped by the Raging Storm. Damage, damage, Blue Link, he's gonna squeeze out on this one. You got a full stick of meter here. Do you get the opportunity? Oh my god. Oh, you have Anthony! Oh, damn your fuel! To hit this out, the staggers. Yeah. Should be able to carry here. Just don't drop this. You know what they say, chat. <laughs> GG, shake my hand. So I woke up, press 2A. Was there an orb on top of me? Yes. Yes, there was. But I still pressed it. And Tenure Mule looking really good in this reset so far. Not fake. Comes the DP in response to the Vortex, but unfortunately hits a 5B. Blinky is just a deep wall bounces. Cool. Trying to go for all the overheads here. Backing up, full screen, run up, throw. Oh, this, this might be enough. Yeah, actually, this is, yeah, one touch away. There we go, we got it. Round a piece. Again, we're in a very familiar situation, right? This is just like the fourth reset. Round start roll and avoids 5B. That was kind of smooth, kind of smooth Quick here. Blocks the DP as well, gets the crumble. And your new Ten Tenure just says, forget forget your nine frame startup, whatever, don't care. Skill issue! We kill it! Oh, God, don't, but, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Tenure, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Tenure is not landing any of these overheads like that, though. 
no, 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 no. is so on point with just DPing on the jump in. Nope, nope. That was a hard read on the DP. What a pickup, what a pickup, Blue Linkies. Didn't have enough mana though. Sorry. And again, oh. And again, this, yeah, yeah, that stare down situation. Again, tenure mule quicker on the draw. We're on tournament point, but don't forget, it's Blue Linkies we're going up against here. Blue Linkies, if they want to win this, they have to pull out another reverse 3 0. Another one. Are they really going to get three reverse 3 0s in one night? Don't think so. Yeah, the going to have to stop them short here. Trying to chase down with the 6S, but the orb keeping them flat, backed up. Okay, cool. Good blast! Yeah, catching the back dash there with the buster here. It's going to be a rip of damage. Not quite enough to close it out, though. Ooh. Yo, call that. But the follow up got the crumple state. And oh my god. And just like that, Tenure Mule is able to turn it around, take the W, and get one round closer to tournament victory. This is it. All the pieces are gone. The king is cornered, and it is checked. Is the Linky's going to be able to squeeze their way out of this? The chase down to 6S. The button for success. Oh no. Didn't block that DP this time. Oh jeez! Oh, no! Is this enough? No. This oh, oh! Tenured mule. Fading out the DP with a whiff for S, able to take it, your TNS no, 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 champion. No, no, no. no, that was all accident. Come on. No, I can't. I can't get crowned. You whiffed it, and you're like, oh, crap. Let me just block, and then it happened. That, I'm seeing it like it is. I'm calling it out. Wait a minute. <laughs> No, no, no. We, we give him the credit. We give him the credit. Okay. All right. That was a hard read. It was, right, it was on a purpose. calculated. All right. Calculated. Really calculated. Drop. If it didn't work, it was a drop, but it worked. So it was calculated. Okay. <laughs>